at this one with a 1-0 lead. And it's a deserved 1-0 lead. I mean, we saw what happened at the start, and now Quadrant cannot allow it to happen again. They cannot allow that fast pressing style to be able to just eliminate them so quickly. They need to be thinking about the positions they take. Don't allow Optic to so easily press up and take advantage of them. Two go down for Quadrant. As Trippy watches on, as his teammates drive forward and claim space on the map here. This is the worst start again that Quadrant could have asked for as they're already pushed all the way back at their own base. But what an important pick that might be from SLG as he soars forward and looks to get a flag capture of his own. Yeah, this time it's Optic. They go three dead. SLG knowing that it's not going to be a flag grab just yet, just on the timing. So instead he's just going for defense here. But now he can start to run that flag. And I said about how good Quadrant are at making sure they speed this flag across as they hit all their slides and make sure that everything's going to be comfortable. We might see this one get tied up in less optic run position. You can see APG's making his way bottom base, and someone has been able to get in. It's trippy. And what a push this is from Optic. Expert bait and switch here. Three go down for Quadrant. And it looks for all the world as though SLG had the soft tires on. He was speeding with that flag all the way home. But somehow, some way, Optic Gaming get the stop. And not just that, Trippy's tiptoeing his way back home. 2-0 the lead. What did I say about counter caps? Optic Gaming are so good at it. They can find those weaknesses, they can find those vulnerabilities, and they will punish you quickly. And now, of course, Quadrant find themselves 2-0 down, thanks to the original flag cap before the reset. Quadrant need to just slow this down, one down a little bit. They can't allow Optic to just continue to pummel them, but it's Lucid running a flag yet again. Lucid with Heat Wave as well, Seek it. Felt the wrath of that before. Flag has been stopped for now, though. Two members positioned over there to get the return, and SLG down to half shield. Now back to full health as he tries to drive his team forward once more. Makes it over towards the Optic Gaming front base, puts down a couple of bursts onto Lucid, but turns his attention towards Trippy now, who also just about managed to escape, but taken down in the end by Chick. But that can be frustrating if Optic Gaming continue to get away when they're one shot. Though things have started to change here now, Lucid last man standing for now. It's just the confidence of SLG as well, pushing through bottom middle, taking those angles, not necessarily going for the predictable routes that Optic would be able to pre-nade. Now he's in the base doing a little bit of damage and being a nuisance at the same time. The trade does come through. No chance to pull a flag for Quadrant, but at least they were able to stop the, the dominance that we saw Optic Gaming have in the opening stages of this game. Chicken will be 2 Backs it up. Loose it though, on hand, with formal. They bait and switch, and they get the kill, and they clear out base. APG, though, in a spot of bother, but the gangster on top once more. APG versus SLG, and it's going to be the American who comes out. The better of that engagement. Four dead for Quadrant, and Optic now firmly in the ascendancy. Yeah, you know, Optic have got a far better grip on this game than Quadrant have, and Quadrant have never really been able to find any control. Flag moving yet again. This could be 3-0. If Quadrant are careful, and just every single time they push out of the base, Optic are there and waiting for them, and this is looking comfortable for Optic. This is looking like the Optic gaming we were expecting to see in this series. Optic now only needing two. Quadrant, of course, need the five. And this is a tough one, a tough pill to swallow for Quadrant, especially as they just keep pushing out and getting denied every single time. This is the Optic gaming we were promised. Oh my, Lucid it just continues to absolutely fry here. APG thinks the better of pushing the base, waiting for his teammates instead. And expert in the sides, top middle is the point of contention. Seek it down to no shields. A couple of grenades go down just to ensure APG cannot get the final shots in, but does eventually get there. Such experienced play from APG. Well, one of the things I was crediting Quadrant for in their previous games was how they were holding hands. So there was always a player to back each other up, to get the trade or to do the assisting. I've seen a lot of 1v1s happening, or at least 1v2s, where Quadrant have maybe been caught out as individuals. But another flag is going to be moved. This time, Quadrant are going to be running him. Legend doesn't really have much help at the moment, so has to do the damage. It has to be calling Trippy out, but he loses that engagement. And Optic should stop this flag yet again. It's Optic Gaming winning all the pibs here. We speak about 1v1s, the issue that they're having is they're not winning those engagements. And Optic Gaming laying siege to the Quadrant base. I like that from Trippy as well. Just give that flag up for now. Just toss it out, get into a position, and then reposition yourself just to make sure that Fridge can't be pushed up upon and you can control P. Three are dead yet again here for Quadrant. 
SOG last remaining, and this should be another cap. Flag's almost home. Legend tries to get the stop. Two go down for Optic, and have Quadrant done enough here. Wow. That was a great spawn for Quadrant there, and able to just get those nades and stop that flag from getting round that corner. There's still life here yet for Quadrant. 3 0 down. They're moving a little bit better. Optic playing defense now. Three go down as quick as a blink. And Optic again can push through the gears. All four dead for Quadrant as APG waits for the dynamo grenades. Well, you asked me how important that first flag cap was going to be, and I think it's evident it was very important. It went in favor of Optic Gaming. They've controlled it ever since. And Quadrant have just been trying to fight their way back into this game. I haven't been able to find any real control. All the flag runs have kind of happened on the fly when two or three members were down. It was never all four dead and running that flag and working together to ensure it came across the map. It was a desperate attempt, really, at any flag ball. And Optic have known that. Optic have taken advantage of it, and that's why they were able to get those counter caps as well. Camouflage now available for Lucid. And he's feeling himself right now as Chick has taken out for the double. All the pieces seem to be falling the way of Optic Gaming here. Every fight, every engagement. Quadrant seems to be on the back foot. They haven't really been able to get a capture going or even a decent flag run ever since that opening one, Dan. It's been, like you say, counter cap every single time Quadrant try to apply any kind of pressure. And Optic can play this in a way where they can frustrate Quadrant a little bit. They can take advantage of the outslaying that they're doing. Keep themselves warm, frustrate Quadrant in a way that you can try and get in their heads a little bit going into game four. Because I think Optic will be looking at this at 3-0, saying we're more than likely going to win this game, lads. We've got five minutes to play with. We can toy with our food. And Quadrant just need to escape these constant spawn traps. And every single time it's one member falling, one member falling, they're staggered on their spawns and Optic taking full advantage of it. The efficiency of these kills from Optic have been so, so impressive. They've only, they're only really outslaying Quadrant here by 11, but their lead is 3-0. That goes to show they're not just getting kills for kills' sake, they're getting them when they matter. And just as a reminder, it was a one flag capture from the previous game before the restart. That's why they find themselves three ahead. So they only need two more captures to solidify a win via flag caps, but they could just use the time as well. Four minutes 30. Quadrant, no matter what route they take, they're always being met by an Optic Rifle battle rifle. An Optic Gaming battle rifle, should I say. Optic Rifle could be a new brand. Coming to a store near you, possibly. Lose with the heat wave. Flag out front base has been sent home. And Quadrant could be forgiven for almost being resigned to losing this with only four minutes left on the clock. They could, and it's just all down to how well Optic have played this game. They've had Quadrant's number every single time. And they are looking more like the world champions that we've seen. They're looking more like that team who is going for a 4P to join the likes of some of those incredible teams you mentioned at the top of this series. The likes of Final Boss, the likes of Tox. They've been there, they've done that. Optic would love to be up there. Lucid, four fresh shots, making a double kill. All four dead for Quadrant once more. And the last thing you want as a Quadrant fan is to see Lucid heating up. I think Optic Gaming in general, they needed this. They needed a game where they were able to dominate and believe in themselves once more. And it doesn't matter which corner they take at the moment, they seem to be winning their battles. You called it right. The 1v1s, they're not being won by Quadrant anymore. The confidence is being sucked out of them with every single engagement that's in front of us. And they need to be able to put this behind them. Because as this is looking like a likely loss for Quadrant going into game four, they can't let it play on their minds. Lucid, the MVP. Looks as though he's just performing parkour. And everywhere he goes, players seems to be no shields or at least half shields. You can see why his APG had to cover fire once more. Three dead here. Flags on the move. Will it be little more than a consolation for the French? There is still time. I have seen this many flags scored, but it's just been the dominance from Optic that makes me hesitant to call it. But Quadrant maybe will get their first one in, and there is still hope. It's not all done just yet. Optic Gaming need to be careful because Quadrant, with a little taste of momentum, the taste of that flag cap, perhaps they can start to believe a comeback could be real. APG in the fridge. 1v1 against Legend. He gets the win, but it gets traded out again. 
Lucid currently sitting on 25 kills, 10 assists, and 12 deaths. You simply don't win a game when someone's performing like that. Camo's coming up as well, and Lucid does manage to take down the quadrant player who was top middle, but gets taken down himself by Legend. If a Camo can go in the hands of Quadrant here, hold your phones. 1 minute 52 on the clock. Flag just been tossed out ever so slightly, but no one to run it. Three dead on Optic Gaming side, and Flag will start to move. Lucid's been spotted out. And maybe there's still life in this game just yet. Remember, it's 3-1 because of the flag that was there from the restart. But Quadrant are about to make this 3-2. So you're telling me there's a chance. SLG has the camouflage. And our Optic Gaming Guild, you're being just a little bit complacent. Maybe they believe this game was out of sight. Legend goes into the base once more. Trippy's in trouble over on the fridge. Can SLG get the kill? Yes, he can. And the flag's on the move. Never say never as SLG gets a double, pushes through, but he's done enough. The flag is still moving, and all of a sudden, Quadrant tie this one up. I thought it was done. Maybe you thought it was done, but Quadrant had better thoughts about this one. There's still a job to do. 55 seconds left in regulation time. No way. All of a sudden, Optic are scrambling. They're on the back foot and Quadrant descend on the base once more. And now Optic just want that final whistle blown. They want to get it into overtime. They don't want to be thinking about what's happening with this momentum from Quadrant. Legend needs to be careful to go down as Quadrant still moving and Optic Gaming firmly on the back foot. Quadrant are moving the flag in. They've gotten it all the way over to the closet. Legend picking the route the safest way he can go up the shroom stairs as he trickles all the way home. All found four members there and Quadrant Take the lead here! I promise you, you will not see anything like this again in HCS as Optic find themselves on the brink of losing 3-0 to a European roster that has been questioned, that has been formed, that has been talked about for years as five seconds remain. And Quadrant are about to do the unthinkable by clean sweeping the world champions! Well, well, well. Who could have saw that one coming? What on earth have we just seen? The game was done. Optic had it. They were marauding around the map. They were playing matchmaking. They were slaying Quadrant for fun. And then suddenly, Quadrant burst to life. They find a little bit of a taste of momentum. And they take full advantage of it. And Quadrant will top this group as they topple the world champions. Europe have finally shown up to international competition for the first time since, what, Denver 2018. And suddenly things get very interesting, very exciting for those watching at home from that region. The first time Optic Gaming have been clean swept since Orlando. And it hasn't come by the hands of FaZe, nor SSG. It's the European heavyweights in Quadrant.